I had the chance to screen the film, enjoyed it. Very cool, like Lord of the Flies in space vibe to it. Um, for those unfamiliar with Voyagers, what should people expect when they purchase a ticket on April 9th to watch this movie? I think it's a, it's a wild ride. It's a bit of a roller coaster. It starts in one place and it ends in a, a totally different one. And this film is about 30 young people who are 18 or 19 years old who are 10 years into a space mission, um, trying to get to a, a distant planet um, in order to colonize it. Um, but it's going to take like 90 years to get there. And so the characters that we play are, are the first generation of, of that mission, you know, who are questioning the, the purpose of, of their lives. There's one event that's kind of a, a ripple effect or a domino effect, if you will, that kind of sends things spiraling out of control. Very good. Well, here, Lily Rose, let me address this one to you. Clearly the theatrical experience is, it's sacred to us, right? Why is this a film that's best experienced on the big screen? I mean, I think to be honest, uh, ideally every film is best experienced on the on on the big screen, and I, I I think that there's you know nothing like the experience of of going to the movies, and I think that that's something that we've all really missed this year. I know that I I know that I have, and so I think that uh, you know I'm I'm really excited that we get to 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 go again and to have those kinds of experiences, and I think that this is the perfect one to return to the movies with because it is you know, like Ty was saying, such a, a wild ride. And I think that there's no more kind of immersive way to experience it than, than going to the movies. And, it, you know, we really want to bring the viewer on this crazy journey with us. And so I think there's no better way to to do that. To me, it's a really, it's, it's really a big screen film. You've both worked across different platforms and have plenty of careers off the big screens to keep you busy. Um, what is the significance though of cinema for you either as an individual or I guess as informing your career decisions, like sort of the significance of the movies to you? Well, I mean, I think it's one of the most powerful mediums of storytelling. Maybe my favorite thing or one of my favorite things to do is to, to go to a film, you know, some, most of the time by myself and just, you know, watch a film and, and in the theater with a bunch of strangers and you know, and there's a collective energy in the room, you know, like you can see the same film two or three times with a, a different audience and it changes every time. And I think that that's, that's something that's really powerful about cinema. And uh, I think that, it, it, you know, storytelling is, is, is powerful in, in general, you know, it provokes us you know, to ask these questions about ourselves that, that uh, without those stories, maybe we, we, we wouldn't really have the inspiration. And uh, so I, I, I think it's one of my biggest passions, maybe my my biggest and I obviously I'm I'm super passionate about about cinema. That's you know the only reason that I that I want to do this job is, is because it's the only thing that gives me this kind of uh, you know creative fulfillment and I, I just love doing it. I, I love uh, I love creating films. I love being on set and and you know the moment between action and and cut and that's why I do this. But also like I, I love watching movies. I, I always have and I think uh, you know nothing draws me into uh, to a, a story or a creative experience more than uh, than a really well done film and uh, and you know the stories that really stay with you are the ones that you know kind of make you question things about your own life. Um, and those are my favorite kind of movies. Are ones that leave you with uh, you know leave you thinking, leave you with those questions. Thank you both so much for your time and congratulations on the film. Thank you so Thank much. You so There's nothing to be scared of. In all in your